Kenyatta University Vice Chancellor Professor Paul Winaina together with other vice chancellors during the triannual 7th African Council for Distance Education Conference ACDE 2024 at Masinda Muliro University applauded the significant growth regarding open learning system in the continent. Theo Masharia with the details. Kenyatta University's Professor Paul K. Wainaina joined other vice chancellors drawn from over 10 universities in Africa at Masinde Muliro University of Agriculture and Technology for the 7th African Council for Distance Education Conference, ACDE, an event that brought together academia, key stakeholders, industry players, and scholars to deliberate on the synergies and solutions around open distance online learning systems. The university heads and ACDE members took note of significant growth in regard to open learning systems in the continent. The issue of teaching online, which is really an improvement of distance education, is so, so important. As you have heard, we are revisiting the way this way of teaching has actually to be updated. We are talking of distance education, but it means for us to succeed, we have to use technology. In this conference, we have vice chancellors from over 20 universities in Africa who are gathered here to share their experiences, their researches, plus other researchers who, who have also joined from the different um, um, universities and research institutions to be able to share their research findings on the various thematic areas uh, of this particular conference. But since COVID, Universities had to migrate to assessing learners virtually, but it was a big challenge. So it is a really a new experience and a new way of trying to embrace assessing learners so that they are able to learn from where they are, they are able to be assessed, and we move away maybe from the traditional way of letting them sit down and um, sit for exams, and, and, and then we are going to struggle marking. You know, when you assess virtually, it becomes easier. Sometimes the system marks and then even the, the feedback to the students comes almost automatically. This year's conference is themed from recovery to resilience, innovations in open distance and online learning. The conference has been, has been extremely fantastic. And when I saw the crowd, I'm, I'm, I was really proud that uh, we're all able to come to, to Kenya for this. And this is an opportunity for us to meet again. So I like first and foremost to take the opportunity to thank the government and people of Kenya for the great job they have done in hosting the African Council for Distance Education here. The SCDE conference also conducted an election for its new leaders. Our power was handed over to Masinde Muliro University, which means the current vice chancellor of Masinde Muliro University now becomes officially the president for African Council for Distance Education. Kenyatta University holds the position of the secretary general, meaning our Vice Chancellor Professor Paul K. Wainaina is, continues to be our Secretary General. We have the first Vice President coming from the National Open University uh, of Nigeria. So Professor Olufemi Peters is the Vice Chancellor who is now um, holding that particular position. The second Vice President went to Open University of Tanzania, where Professor Elfas Bisanda becomes the second vice president. KCA University is now representing the East African region. The South African region is being represented by Zimbabwe Open University by Professor um, Henry Gundani, who is the vice chancellor, Zimbabwe Open University. Um, to the Western region, we got national teacher training Kaduna um, 
led by Professor Musa Garba Maitafsil, who is now the representative of uh, the West African region. The treasurer position was taken by University of South Africa, who have been in that docket for quite some time now. But SCD continues to be a driving force for positive change in education across Africa. I wholeheartedly accept the responsibilities and trusted to me as president of SCD. I believe the choosing of Masinda Msila in Malira University of Sanda Technology is timely. We are able to the task and we will do it. Members were thrilled to witness the impact of networking and partnerships in advancing distance and open learning systems in Africa. Theo Masharia for KUTV 